Hi everyone, it's Pigmoon here again with another video on 5th generation Stealth Fighter aircraft. Today we will look into the new JSDF, Japan Air Self Defense Forces Prototype and Technology Testbed, the ATDX, Advanced Technology Demonstration X, or also called the Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin. The impetus for a domestically developed 5th generation fighter platform stems from the fact that Japan has always tried to develop her own fighter aircraft, albeit with foreign inputs since the late 1970s. And she was reportedly rejected by the US in her F-22 Raptor acquisition request. Let's look back at Japan's efforts in domestically developed fighter aircraft before moving on to the X-2 Shinshin. The first Japanese developed fighter aircraft was the Mitsubishi F-1, which itself was modeled after the Sipicat Jaguar and produced with Japanese systems and avionics together with license-built engines. This was followed up by continued licensed manufacturing of US fighters like the F-15J, before Japan embarked on a unique and ambitious Japanese design which was derived from the F-16C Block 40 called the Mitsubishi F-2. The F-2 was perhaps the most expensive fighter project Japan has un undertook up to then, and the extreme high cost has caused the numbers to be acquired to be kept at 94 plus 4 prototypes. This derivative of the F-16 Block 40 had 25% bigger wing area, composite construction to reduce weight and RCS, and upgraded F-110 engines which rivaled the F-15's thrust power. Japanese fighter aircraft projects were often over budget and extremely expensive per aircraft after factoring R&D costs. This deliberate overspending has propped up the Japanese aviation industry base, which serves as a recognized advanced aviation industry in the world, which can not only license built foreign aircraft, but also creatively develop new models to meet the JSDF's concept of operations. Now let's look at the X2 Shinshin a bit closer. From the picture, we can observe the canted twin vertical stabilizers, which actually look less canted compared to other similar foreign design stealth fighters. Could this be a better angle of canter? We shall continue to monitor in further iterations. The side air intakes again has the stealth-driven divertless supersonic design, which drastically reduces the frontal RCS of the X2. But the small nose cone perhaps isn't designed for an inclusion of a large ASR radar. But we need to continue to investigate if the Japanese has actually miniaturized the ASR radar transceivers to such a size that it can be accommodated in such a small physical space. The landing gears of the X2 seems a bit odd in this case, as it gives a straight stance for the aircraft while it's on its wheels. Other land-based fighters often have short nose gears as there isn't a need to reinforce this component for non-carrier-based fighters. This could be a demonstrator-only design which could be changed in newer prototypes. Lastly, the small frontal physical size will likely benefit the X2 to a smaller frontal RCS, but there isn't seem to be a stealth pin coating on the demonstrator yet. Thus, an accurate RCS probably cannot be measured at this moment for the prototype. 